Hello and welcome again to Devotion and Prayer with the devotional Maranatha, the Lord is Coming by Ellen G. White. Today's reading is March the 4th, Life's Top Priority. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6 verse 33. This is the first great object, the kingdom of heaven, the righteousness of Christ. Other objects to be attained should be secondary to these. Satan will present the path of holiness as difficult, while the paths of worldly pleasure are strewed with flowers. In false and flattering colors will attempt to array the world with its pleasures before you. Vanity is one of the strongest traits of our depraved natures, and he knows that he can appeal to it successfully. He will flatter you through his agents. You may receive praise which will gratify your vanity and foster in you pride and self-esteem, and you may think that with such advantages and attractions, it really is a great pity for you to come out from the world and be separate and become a Christian. But consider that the pleasures of earth will have an end, and that which you sow you must also reap. Are personal attractions, ability, or talents too valuable to devote to God? the author of your being, he who watches over you every moment. Are your qualifications too precious to devote to God? The young urge that they need something to enliven and divert the mind. I saw that there is pleasure in industry, a satisfaction in pursuing a life of usefulness. Some still urge that they need, some still urge that they must have something, to which the mind can turn for relief and refreshment amid cares and wearing labor. The Christian's hope is just what is needed. Religion will prove to the believer a comforter, a sure guide to the fountain of true happiness. The young should study the word of God and give themselves to meditation and prayer, and they will find that their spare moments cannot be better employed. Young friends, you should take time to prove your own selves, whether you are in the love of God, be diligent to make your calling and election sure. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Make this first and last. Seek most earnestly to know him whom to know aright as life eternal. Christ and his righteousness is the salvation of the soul. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Life's top priority. Well, direct, strong message. What are we to do? Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you just for life, health, strength, um, clear minds. We praise you for being God. We praise you for being our Father, Christ, our brother, the Holy Spirit, our comforter. We confess we're sinners in need of your saving and your cleansing. We ask that you give us the Holy Spirit and the latter rain power to finish your work. Lord, we thank you for this message telling us to put you first, that the true treasure of life is in seeking you, the kingdom of God, the righteousness of Christ. Satan will come after us to give us all these false illusions that will tell us that worldly entertainment, worldly pleasure, wealth, riches, um, vanity, fashion, whatever it may be, is the true enjoyment of life. Or he may even tell us to spend just some time with God and some time in the world. Or uh, make the world a big priority and make sure you have some quality time for God. But Lord, you have made it clear to us. You said, seek first and last the kingdom of God. Let that be the guiding standard for our lives. To not allow us to be pulled into the trap of entertainment, the trap of worldliness, the trap of vanity. So, Lord, it is one thing to read this. It's another thing to live it. And, Lord, we cannot do this by ourselves. We need you to, once again, give us that Holy Spirit. Give us the power to make these words a reality. We ask and we claim it. We claim it right now by faith that you will give us the power to love your word, to love Bible study, to love prayer, to love witnessing. To not want to be, as you said, we love vanity. We are naturally vain people. So remove that from us and give us humility. Give us submission and help us to be more about service, industry. These things, Lord, only this can be achieved through you. And you will not withhold any good thing from us. So we thank you. We claim it in faith. 
We're not going on feelings. We're going on your word. Man shall live by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So we claim this now. We thank you once again, not for ourselves, but for our family, our church, our friends, the world at large. We thank you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.